What's up my little babies? It's your little big guys and I am back with another video. As I always say guys, if you have not watched my latest video, do be sure to watch it. The link will be down in the description below. Also be sure to give this video a thumbs up guys and subscribe if you're not subscribed and join the family. Alright guys, jumping into this video, we're going to be doing a reaction to Charlene's latest video. Let's get into it. Behind closed doors and of course I'm going to keep everything private because you know, the judgmental people the people that like to use my name for titles and clickbaits or whatever they be using my name for. They're just, you know, the naysayers and the miserable people that, you know. What's funny to me is Charlene said the naysayers and the miserable people. She is a naysayer and she's a miserable person. But we'll cover that deeper in the video. Gotta get they check and Gotta get they check is crazy because I know that's something you need to do. Let's not forget the fact that you never wanted to do YouTube. So the only reason you're still doing it now that you're no longer with CJ is because you gotta get that check, Charlene, by any means necessary. Without the big Gina. Yeah, Royalty, she's uh, actually asleep right now. Her ass lazy as fuck. This is not her fucking dream. She never wanted to fucking start this shit. I begged her to do it. So with that being said, she won't be in everything, but she will be in some of the shit. So you guys see for yourself, Charlie never wanted to do YouTube. And the only reason she's still in it now is because she need that check. You know, royalty's name holds a lot of weight, so, um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, guys, we got a lot of stuff that's gonna be going down. Um, about my house and stuff like that, I don't really think that you guys are gonna officially get a house tour. I'm going to show you bits and pieces of the house and stuff like that. But like I said, it's a bunch of negative people out there that like to ruin people's blessings, people's positivity and people's, you know, their their regular lives with their assumptions and all their negative things that they got to say. So, um let me tell you something about Charlene. She's not one to have something and hide it. She's a bragger. So when she feel like she accomplished something, she likes to throw it in people's face or flex it. And from the way she's moving and trying to keep things under wrap, leads me to believe that she possibly don't have a house, but we should see. But don't act like you don't want to show your house because you don't want people's opinion. And if that's the case, then what's funny is you stood in front of Lexi and dogged her out, talking about how she didn't have a house. Let's, let's remind you of this clip. Nobody's worried about you. I thought the bitch. confused right now. Okay, you. then don't go on the internet. If somebody say mention anything about me, you. then don't do that we internet stuff. Me. I'm right here, so what's funny? We don't, we don't want to talk. And you need a job, and you need a car, and you need a house, and you need all that stuff. But there's thousands of more clips of you being bizarre online. So, yeah, we can't go all day long explaining how you truly are. And unfortunately, you still wouldn't get it because you think you're a perfect person that seeks out peace. And you know, Royalty Nation, you know, if I could, I would do what I got to do, my big one for y'all. But you know, it's oh, poor Charlene pulling the victim card. It's so funny that she's able to say she can't do her big one because there's going to be people saying negative things about her when all she do is speak negative on others, even to the point of wanting people dead. I have not heard one of those people wish death on Charlene, but yet Charlene wished death on them. But we're gonna let her continue pulling the I'm a single mom with five kids and you guys are bullying me card. When yet she's a single mother by choice. Because she wants to exclude the fathers by choice. She's not a victim. And I do believe Charlene is not showing where she lives not because of the people, it's because I feel like Charlene is embarrassed about where she's staying because she's a gloater and she loves to flex. I just want to keep my spirits up high, keep my energy very, very high, you know, and you know, not let the naysayers and the negative and the miserable people bring me down. Charlene is the negative, miserable person. You guys just listen to what she had to say to Lexi. Bitch, you just came around. I've been around. It's a difference. You just got here. I've been here. Just know your position that you got. It ain't even a, it ain't even worth all the stuff that I'm saying right now because you, you a nobody. He don't even like you. You see, he already cheating on you. <laughs> A 
and then you try to clean it up. <laughs> I remember them days, and I don't miss them. <laughs> wow. That's you, Charlene. That's you right there being a naysayer and a bully. You're actually a naysayer. If you don't know the definition of an essay, I'm going to put it on the screen so you'll understand what the definition is. And you know not let the naysayers and the negative and the miserable people bring me down, even though y'all really can't do that because in our reality, I'm a positive person. I like to keep things how they are. I'm a regular person, a single mom, doing what I got to do for my kids, you know, so. It's quite sad how Charlene sit and tell herself these lies and actually believe them. All I gotta say is I don't see no positivity on Charlene at all. Um, I don't even know what Charlene is considering positivity at this point because what she put out is very, very negative. And yes, it has been going on for quite some time, Charlene. I thought after the custody hearing, Charlene would have been a, just got over everything and wouldn't even have any more public splats with CJ, but yet it seemed like it kicked up a notch. And again, to the statement that she made about her being a single mom, we have to remember that's by choice. Both fathers wanted to help, and Charlene is the one who didn't allow them to. It's single mothers out there that actually need help and would love to have the help that Charlene was actually offered by both fathers at that. We even witnessed CJ trying to help several times with children that wasn't even his bi biological children. But, but the way Charlene put it is she's a single mom struggling with no help and it was never offered. That's the way she presents it. Show me the love. And of course, I always appreciate my royalty nation because y'all definitely stand 10 toes down for the nation, for royalty, for life, for royalty, for what I got going on. And you know, I do I appreciate every single one of y'all. It's like y'all do my dirty work. I ain't got to get up curse people out and do all that other extra stuff. Wow, you guys heard that Charlene told them to do her dirty work. So she's sending people to take down pages. Hmm. Interesting. I think YouTube would be very interested in knowing that information. But anyways, that being said, it kind of also ties into Charlene operating like what CJ said she was doing. Activity Lane. I don't know what it is with this girl, but there's no peace and positivity in her mind at all. She didn't already recorded herself multiple times saying she want to shoot me and have me shot and make sure they don't miss this time and they aiming for my head. It's quite sad because I don't think Charlene will ever find peace. She's just going to keep saying she's a peaceful person, but still operating very negatively um, and believing that she's peace. But yeah, there's no peace in Charlene. And I think it's rather disgusting that she tried to gather her people to try to do dirty work for her instead of just letting her be positive in her life if she's so positive. But anyways, guys, this wraps up this video. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.